I'm here today on a, a very sunny day near Portsmouth to have a look at this Marlow 36 called Manana. Now she's for sale with John Rodriguez Yachts and her full inventory and specification are on our website at www.jryachts.com so please do have a look at that to see her full details but I'm going to do a short video today showing you some of her extra features because she's a 1999 boat but probably the biggest feature that she has is that her current owners in 2015 hugely refitted her for a, a transatlantic and around Britain but one of the things they did was change her rig entirely so she was supplied from new with an in-mast furling rig but that has been replaced with a Selden fractional double spreader rig and she now has conventional slab reefing and that's a three reef main it's all reefed at the mast and as I say that was all done in 2015 so she received a new mast a new mainsail and also new standing rigging and I'll just go further back along the boat you can just see the the end of the tender that is part of the package as I say that's all on at www.jryachts.com but she comes with a tender and outboard. She actually has a huge inventory and spec and a huge spares list because, as I say, her owners prepped her for transatlantic sailing and then they, in, in fact, did a, around Britain as well. So she is well specified for long distance. She has a wind generator. She has solar panels there on custom stainless steel arches. That big antenna is her SSB antenna. And if you can see at the back, just poking up above the life sling, she also has a hydrovane. So for long distance work, she is very well equipped. And as I say, hugely refitted in 2015. So I'm just gonna come into her cockpit, and give you an idea of how this is set up. It's a, a deep cockpit, so it's very safe long distance and a big seaway there we are and the Marlow signature which I really like is the Targa arch which also carries the the main sheet so you've got no risk of the main sheet crashing across across the cockpit it's all well out of harm's way easy to get to and also on that Targa arch you've got these excellent handholds so going forward it's very straightforward here and I'll just come down a little bit. You can see she has a Raymarine plotter in the cockpit and new Raymarine instruments from 2015, I think it was. Sorry, 2013. And I'll go forward now and I'll take you down below and we'll have a look at how she's laid out down below. So here we are down below on Monyana. And as I said, I'm going to give you a tour just through her layout so you can see how she's set up. As I said on, on deck, she's well set up for long distance cruising with a hydrovane and wind generator, etc. Uh, but she's also easy to handle. She has a bow thruster and she's comfortable down below here. She has heating, her spack of heating. So as I said, I'm gonna give you a little tour down here. We'll start at her chart table. You can see her SSB there and VHF, weather forecasting, there's also a repeating instrument from the Ray Marine Instruments. That's a good size chart table, I'm comfortable. Sorry, that noise you can hear is somebody sanding their boat next door. So on the starboard side here, there is, this is fitted with a lee cloth, so there is a berth here, this, this settee berth. And in fact, the fittings for the lee cloth are actually really attractive as one of them. Haven't seen many like that before. And bookshelves. And that table can convert to a double. So you can have a double berth in the saloon. But the the master berth, the current owners use this one as the master berth, is in the forward, forward cabin. It's a good size berth. And you've got good stowage with nice drawer units underneath. And hanging lockers, port and starboard. And a little 
and go back looking aft to our left is the heads and shower here we'll pass the galley it's an l-shaped galley so that's well set up if you are offshore long distance very safe and secure galley but you're also in exactly the right place you're next to the companionway so if you're feeding your crew or passing up hot drinks I think that's exactly where you should be right next to the companionway steps okay so let's go into the port side double Hold me up. so this extends to our left as we look at it but there there's cockpit cushions and parts of the hydrovane stowed there at the moment, but that does extend right across. And it's actually got an escape hatch here too. So you can open the hatch and leave from here straight into the cockpit. We've got storage on our starboard side. Engine access is very good on the boat. It's behind these steps. And then on the starboard side, which is our left as we're looking at it, is the heads and shower. And always on the Marlow, we tend to be very much on the generous side, but well set up. The configuration is that you can, you can stand in here quite happily, even when the boat's heeled over. You're actually quite well cocooned and plenty of things to hold on to. And come back out. Pass the chart table again. And we'll just have one final look at her saloon. There we are, so that's Manana. She's a Marlow 36, and as I say, all her details are on our website at www.jryachts.com.